This is the extended version of who is in love with you and what would they like to say to you. Hello, I'm Avalon Kisby. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I do try and add a little bit more of an explanation and value to some of the very short TikToks that I get to do. If you have not followed me yet, I do invite you as I post on here regularly. So we're going to be using two decks today. We are going to be using the Oracle of Avalon and we're going to be using the Antique Anatomy deck, okay? So I would just like to mention that I am going to be holding a free masterclass on the Oracle of Avalon at the end of May. We're going to be learning how to interpret the symbols and the imagery on the cards and how to use them in conjunction with tarot readings. If this is something that you're interested in, there is a link in my bio and there is also a free gift there for those that register. I would also like to let you know that the Antique Anatomy course, I'm going to be doing a live course. This has been much anticipated and the doors are now open for registration. There is also payment plans available for that. Again, there is a link in my bio. All right, so the cards that we pulled on who is in love with you. We have Apathy, Starcrossed, Clarity, Renewal, and Prediction. The person who is in love with you, it may feel like you are always in this state of being star-crossed. It could potentially be that there's a third party situation, that there's distance between you, or that there are other obstacles in between you. It could be some near misses where you've almost met or you've almost got together. And then for some reason, it feels like the universe has created another obstacle. The person who is in love with you may also not always express how they feel. And yet within you, you have this inner knowing. You have this inner knowing that they are in love with you. Everything within you tells you so. And within you, you may feel that there is going to be a renewal between the both of you, a new beginning. At times you visualize this and feel this with so much clarity and then at other times it could potentially be that you wonder is this your imagination or is this truly your intuition? What would they like to say to you? The four cards that came out on what they would like to say to you is the chariot, the two of cups, the five of pentacles, and the Knight of Coins. They would like to tell you that they understand that this dynamic is very different. One soul in two different bodies. They understand that you may be soulmates or twin flames, that you have an unbreakable bond. This is the yin and the yang, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Do you see, however, that their heads are facing in the opposite direction? Again, to pull a chariot, the horses would have to be facing the same direction. So we can see that there are also obstacles within this. However, they would also tell you that there is love and passion that they have for you. It says it on the very cards, love and passion. And for me, the Two of Cups has always been a soulmate card. Their energy also mirrors your energy. Do you see? If we look at the illustration, what we see above is reflected below. What you feel, they feel. However, they do acknowledge that there is this great big obstacle right in the way. And what they would like to say to you is that they know that this has taken its time. The Knight of Coins is one of the slowest moving cards of the deck. So they are probably very concerned as to whether they will come to you in time. But they are making their way to you, is how it feels. Let's pull more tarot. Spirit, for the viewer... For the viewer, what would that person like to say to them? 
person who is in love with them, what would they like to say to the viewer? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Blades, the Nine of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Queen of Cups. You are so attractive to them. Magnetic, beautiful. You may be able to pick up on their emotions. The Queen of Cups is the most empathic of all of the queens. You may be able to tap into one another's energy and feel each other's emotions. Especially as you have one soul between you, you can pick up on the minutest of changes. They are trying to manifest you. And here we are, we see this eternal connection again. We see how they have created the vertebrae to be into the infinity symbol, the backbone, the backbone. They understand that there is creation, there is a creative power that you have between the both of you. They feel it. You do touch their soul. With this nine of pentacles, again, look, it is mirrored energy. What we see above, we see below. As above, so below. They may feel this connection in the higher realms and be wanting to manifest this into something physical. Again, there's the obstacle. The nine of pentacles is also a card that speaks of you fulfilling every one of their desires. If they were to write a wish list of who could be their perfect partner, then you would meet every one of the criteria. The Seven of Blades is interesting because whenever I see this card, the words, it's not always black and white, come to mind. And yet clearly in this card, from the outside, from the outside, from the exterior, it looks very black and white, but it isn't black and white. There is no obvious way to move forward with this. There are complications within it. What would they like the outcome to be, Spirit? What would they like the outcome to be? deck we have the emperor we have the two of swords the queen of coins the six of cups and the four of cups they would like a decision to be made and yes it could be that they wish that they would themselves make a decision on how to move forward it could be that they understand that they are coming to a crossroads and this crossroads could be quite fearful for them, from potentially both of you. But what would they like? They want to come through as your divine counterpart. They have gone through so much growth. You potentially have both gone through so much growth with the dynamic of this relationship. They would like to acknowledge you as a soulmate. Again, Six of Cups and Two of Cups are soulmate cards to me. Again, we see there's this mirrored, imagey, mirrored image, what you want, they want. The Six of Cups, if you were to Google the meaning of it, it often talks about somebody returning from the past. They may understand that they've lived either past lifetimes with you or they're wanting to come back into your life. This is what they're wishing and hoping for. And with the Queen of Coins, they're hoping that you will be waiting for them, I suppose. Waiting, grounded, nurturing, beautiful for them when they come in. I think they don't want to miss their opportunity, is how it feels. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading today. I hope that all of you have such a beautiful weekend. Sending my love to each one of you.